So the next step kind of in progression from 7.1 is now we're going to do some calculating stuff with scales. Uh, so we're going to look at scale drawings. It's kind of like the maps that we were using in the last section, that a map is a scale drawing of you know, a section of the Earth's surface. Uh, so it's a drawing of something at a new size. Those are the first two blanks, new size, but with uh, correct proportions. Proportions. In other words, it's still going to look right. So if we do a scale drawing of your face, it still looks right. It's not kind of like over spring break, I was with my family at the Museum of Science and Industry. We found some of those curved mirrors that look, you look, make you look really tall or really short. So I was trying to make it where my biceps were at the perfect part where it stretches it. And I looked really manly and strong. Um, okay, but um, so it, it's not that. It's where things look right. So scale units. Uh, when they're the same, they cancel out. And you may drop them. In other words, when we have one like this here, the one inch equals four miles, you're pretty much stuck writing it that exact same way. So you can rewrite it in a blank if you want to just for, I don't know, whatever sake. Otherwise, you could just circle it or leave it or something like that. But if we were to have one inch equals four inches, then we could just write, maybe I should have done a colon, one colon four because one equals four seems a little bit messed up. So you don't need to put the inches and the Yep, that if they're both inches, then those will just kind of like cancel out. Because one inch on the map will be four inches in real life, while one foot on the map or on the drawing will be four feet in real life, or one mile and one mile. So the units kind of cancel out that way. But when the units are different, like here, then you have to leave them in, they're significant. Fair enough? Okay. Then scale. It's going to be similar to that drawing that we had, or the equation we had yesterday. So it's going to be the scale is the new size over the original size. Or if you wanted to not write it as a fraction, write it with a colon, you could say scale equals the new size colon original size. But they'll always do the new first. And kind of how in my mind it connects to yesterday is yesterday we said the scale is going to be the distance on the map over the distance in real life. Well, the Earth's surface is kind of like the original. The map is kind of like the new. So it's really the same type of equation, just different words to it. So if we were to go and do a couple of these and kind of look at a couple things. Um, so first, just this picture here. If you have something that's a 1 to 2, we're saying that it's a one in the drawing and a two in real life. So in other words, we just made it smaller, right? Every two inches in real life, this is kind of the, the original. And this here is going to be the new. So the new is only one for every two of the original. Is that fair? Can you go up a little bit? Sure. And so the new is only one where the original is two. So it would be one inch tall instead of two inches tall. If you have an enlargement, now the number in front, the new, is going to be larger if it's getting bigger, and the original will be the smaller one. So a 2 to 1 that way, well, every 1 inch on the original is going to be 2 inches in the new. Or every 1 foot in the original is going to be 1 foot in the new. Fair? Yeah. Okay. Then, you could jump down to our first, like, and a real example, our first real calculation thing. The scale is one centimeter equals 1.5 feet. If I trained you right, you look at that, and the first thing you want to quick write down in your paper is? One centimeter over 1.5 feet. That, that's probably going to be part of our problem. Now, probably would have been smarter to read the whole thing first, but how long is the car in real life? So are we looking for the number of centimeters in this second fraction or the number of feet? Number of feet, right? Okay, so we can take out our rulers then and slap our rulers down on there. And I'm, I would go probably how long is the car. Maybe let's go from this point here on the front bumper to maybe that point there on the back bumper. That's the total distance. So, so all but one of us 
Agree that it's 8.5 centimeters between those two. And again, make sure good rulers, like the paper one I gave you, but like more expensive rulers, they don't start at zero. They'll be like this and they'll have a zero in a little bit. So if you drop it and the corner gets dinged, you still can measure from zero accurately. So make sure you're getting your zero right at there, not the end of your ruler. Fair enough? So 8.5 centimeters. Well, once you have the 8.5 centimeters, we want to figure out how many feet it is. So for it. So cross multiply. So we have one centimeter, or just one times x, equals 1.5 times 8.5. And so this here is 12.75. And this here just becomes an x, so we don't have to divide both sides by anything because it's really just a 1 in front of x. So 12.75 what? Nice. Because that 12.75 is going to go in right here for x, we know it's that many feet. So final answer, 12.75 feet. Should we flip to the second example? Then we'll okay. So example two, if the bolt is really 1.2 centimeters long, but it's enlarged to 15.2 for the drawing, how tall will the drawing be? Okay, so we want to do a fraction equals a fraction. So 12 Not a 12 centimeters. One point two. The 1.2, do we put that in the top or the bottom? The top. 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 Bottom. Bottom. Well, if we go back to scale, we said the equation for scale was what over what? Real. Distance to real life. So either the new no, over the original. Or you could say the, what did we write down? New, yeah, we did new over original. Or before we kind of did like the map over real life. So when we have this 15 colon 2, we could take and put that in first, right? That's a good first step is take your scale and slap it in there. So the new is 15 for every 2 on the original. Well, this 1.2 centimeters, is that the new or is that the original? That's original. It's new. It's new. Because it got enlarged. No. If the bolt is really 1.2 centimeters, so the real life is a bolt. 1.2 centimeters. Now you'll notice we don't have any units in this thing here. So we don't have any units in these two parts. So what does the units have to be in the numerator there? Our final answer is going to be Centimeters, yep. That if the units kind of canceled out, then our units are going to have to be able to cancel out over there, too. All right, so, but we don't know what that number is. So let's put an X in. It's a 20. And now we can solve for this bad boy. So I'm going to do this way first because I like my X on the left side of the equation. So 2 times X equals 15 times a 1.2. That gives me 2X equals, drawing a blank, I want to say 18, but that's really dangerous. Um, so 15 yeah. times 1.2, it is 18. Well, how about that? So okay, so that equals 18. Final stepping in the x by itself is to, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? we're trying to get x by itself. Oh, divide by two. Yep, divide by two. Oh, you could divide by two. Yeah, let's just divide by two. Um, so we get nine. So the real drawing is going to be nine centimeters, centimeters high. Centimeters. centimeters. Questions? You guys good?